Portable XRF has become ubiquitous in the mineral exploration industry from due diligence phase prior to a property acquisition right through to logging drill core at the feasibility study stage and every step in between. Field mapping is done by geologists right at the commencement of uh, exploration. During that mapping phase, XRF can be used with a geopic. Rock chip samples are collected by hammering a piece of rock, getting it in chips. Sometimes they'll smash it up even more and put it through a small sieve, and then testing those rocks to get a feeling for what the presence or absence of the elements of interest that they're looking for. They can also then use the onboard GPS with the analyzer and start creating contour maps of areas of high, medium and low concentration of the particular elements that they're searching for. Many of our customers are using third-party software such as ArcPad or Discover Mobile. Because our uh, analyzer now has an inbuilt in GPS, customers are able to match their data sets up and do real-time field mapping. Soil sampling is generally the first stage of any exploration project. Uh, portable XRF is the ideal tool. XRFs generally used two ways during the soil sampling phase. Most often grids are set up where samples are collected on a grid spacing, which will vary depending on the commodity they're searching for and the project. They will go around with the portable XRF, take samples from the top, potentially dig past the A or B horizon, sieve it, analyse it, move on to the next point. So the Portable XRF provides the customer a great fast tool to get through these large size grids very quickly. The explorer can either test the soils in situ along that grid and store the data within the analyzer and uh, then go back to the office and, and draw up contour plots. The other technique that is often used is collecting of the sample, taking all those samples back to a central location and having the instruments set up at a field camp where they run all the samples very systematically. The other areas where portable XRF are used are during the drilling phase. From an RC drill rig, you get a sample return, you get a drill chip sample, and you get some fines out of a cyclone. Uh, customers are using the field portable XRF on both of these, and potentially using the average function that's on board the analyzer to get an idea of our pathfinders or heat values as they call them in the field to make decisions to keep drilling or stop drilling. RAB and RC, the samples retrieved from those type of drilling are more conducive to XRF results because the samples produced are very homogenous. They're using the field port of XRF to pre-screen their samples and then they're only sending samples that have got known mineralisation shown by the XRF back to the laboratory for testing. The instruments are also used during the diamond drilling phase, but the rocks are not homogenous in those cases, so the results of the instruments can be variable. There are no rules with respect to diamond drilling. You have to do the work, do an orientation survey with the instrument to really see and compare those results with laboratory results to see if the XRF is going to be effective on Diamond Core on your particular project. In the Northern Hemisphere, diamond drilling is the dominant drilling method. And there are hundreds of companies using portable XRF as a screening tool to give them a feeling for mineralization during the drilling process.